part of the reason why I want to do these kind of videos, do a podcast and even talk about the things that I talk about, which is about mainly self-help and kind of building a good life for yourself. The reason I want to do that is because a lot of people experience a lot of suffering and they spread that onto the world. They spread that onto other people. There, there are people who have had negative experiences. They've had trauma. They've had abuse. They've had all this like wide range of things that happen to you that create suffering inside of you, which then cause you to have a negative experience of life. And you could be angry or jealous or hateful. And then you spread that onto the world. And I think that there's a long line of people who have been fucked up by other people or have been fucked up by other people's situations that have created a negative experience inside of them. Let's say parents who had trauma as children, never healed from it. They have children. They just pass it on to that child. I see this a lot of times with young people who have children and they're still drug addicts. They're still like not healed from trauma they experienced as children and then it creates a horrible environment for children to live in the things that i talk about are essentially ways which i became the person in that chain that stopped me spreading the suffering to other people before i had a very negative experience of life and i didn't really attribute it to suffering from trauma and things like that it took me a long time to start to heal from the trauma because the the series of events that happened were so close together that i never really healed from the last one before the next one happened i just had all these fucked up things happen which like i never really healed from so i had a lot of problems and i saw the world in a completely different way than i do now part of what i talk about is essentially helping yourself so that you aren't suffering so that you build something better for yourself so that you feel better so that you don't spread that to other people and this when I articulate that that is how I go about everything that's like why I talk to people about the things that I do and it's why I make these videos is why I've made a podcast is so that people <clears throat> can basically help themselves and I'm not perfect at doing that yet like I don't I don't believe that there's a, a perfection but I'm not where I want to be in that journey of, of having helped myself so much, having been through so much myself that I can talk about it so that it helps other people really, really well. I want to get better at talking so that I get better at doing that. I want to get better at storytelling so that I can get better at conveying a message to someone. So a friend of mine, he's a guy who's meditated a lot. He's a guy who experienced trauma as a child but he's turned into a very loving person and he's one of the most mindful people that I've, I've had the experience of meeting. And when I talked to him about this, he said that the kindest thing that you can do for other people is to basically sort yourself out, to reduce your own suffering so that you don't spread it to other people. That is really what happens. People have emotions inside of them that they've probably not healed from that cause them suffering that cause them to act in a certain way and then they spread it onto the world and if more people started to realize that then they could be the the point where that suffering stops the things that have happened to them that cause them to feel bad like they heal from it and then they're not passing it on to the world so that's really just the concept for today if you want to have something to take away to start to heal yourself i think prioritizing your health your sleep and just really looking after yourself and being nice to yourself more often than not people have had a traumatic experience happen to them if you talk to someone for long enough what i've found is that most people have had something big and negative that's affected them for years happen and there's a whole wide range of things that, that might be and some are more severe than others and some people's response to it is more severe than others so if you've had something happen to you and you haven't healed from it and you've formed like coping me coping mechanisms or forms of escapism or avoidance then it's time to really look at it and get to the root of it unpack it and that that might require therapy or a hypnotherapist or even a doctor but mainly in my experience it's just been talking to people about it and talking to a doctor for example and a doctor told me you know you feel shit because you don't sleep properly, you haven't got any good friends, 
you live in a shit house with like a weird alcoholic guy you just sit around smoking weed all the time you just play games you've got no ambition in your life you know no wonder you feel like shit and i i needed that person to tell me that so that's what this is all about i want to talk to people who have had these kind of experiences eventually doing you know podcasts remote podcasts talking about this kind of stuff just sharing this message of, of good values that help people sort their shit out so that they don't spread their negative experience onto other people, onto their children, onto their partners, onto the people around them and the way that they treat them. This is kind of the first video in, in a more regular series of videos. So yeah, peace.